in a world populated only by soldiers. One man must become an electrical engineer. to keep the streets well lit and safe. Do you have what it takes to become a successful electrician and find a good stable job in the world of Arma 3? Uh, pretty cool, right? I've had this idea for a pretty long time and decided to revisit it. Well, it's just a prototype, not really super fleshed out and as such it has a lot of drawbacks, but nothing that can't be fixed, you know? So before you go and start adding this into your project, let me just show you how it works outside of a very carefully planned cinematic. Now first of all, there is a very specific reason why this whole thing is shown to you on a rainy day. This isn't just a coincidence, trust me. Let's see how it works when it's sunny outside. And now let's check out night hours, the time when this whole system would be useful since you probably want to light up areas at night and not in the middle of the day. Yeah, with scripts like this and no mods, creativity is required and often you find a solution to avoid a problem only to introduce another crippling issue. Luckily there are ways to fix a lot of these issues with some good planning, custom assets and a bit more care. As you can see I use vanilla VR blocks since they are big and can be made invisible. They still cast shadows though. I imagine it's possible to make a custom model that doesn't do that. Another issue are the vanilla drones, which are visible at night even with hide object command. Once again a custom made vehicle with physics and invisible model would fix this. There's also issues when the lamp gets destroyed, the cable stays suspended in midair, since it technically isn't connected to the lamp. Easy fix, make lamps indestructible. Lastly, the cable signal is directional, meaning you always have to start making connections from the generator outwards. If you start at a lamp and go backwards connecting to the generator, it won't work because of how ropes in Arma work. Now let's see how it all works. Every generator object has a small radius that powers any lamps and sends a signal to any electrical poles. This signal then travels through individual cables powering any lamps along the way. Important thing to note, the cables are directional, meaning connecting pole 1 to pole 2 is something completely different than doing it the other way around. You control the generator simply by pressing the action to turn it on and off and that's pretty much it. As long as it is on, it sends a signal through any nearby network once per second to check for lamps. If it's off, it sends one signal to turn everything off and then remains in the off state. Once you pick to become an electrician, the game marks every nearby lamp and power pole, spawns a big VR cube around each one and starts the main logic. The game that tracks what object you are pointing at, if it's the VR block which is invisible to the player but still registered by the game, the game knows which pole you are looking at. Then there is some logic checking for clicking the mouse buttons left to add, right to remove. If you click the first pole, it gets selected and you can then pick the second pole to connect to or right click to unselect it. You can't connect two places that are more than 90 meters apart and you can't use any other objects than these specific power poles. For lamps it doesn't matter, but only these specific lamps are high enough that the cable position makes any sense. Once you select two nearby poles, the game creates a drone on the first position, a stack of papers on the other and connects the two via a rope. This is as close as I can get to dynamically created cables. And that's about it. Once you go to the toolbox again and press the action, the VR boxes are removed, 
all tracking of user clicks and objects on screen, all of that is stopped and you just carry on with the rest of the scenario. I don't know if I need to go into any more detail about the code, any longer video like that gets barely any interaction, so I guess I'll leave it at that and you are free to check out the code in your own time. It's all down in the video description. I don't really want or need to perfect this system, I present it as is, as an idea, a prototype. And should you want to actually use it, polish it and work out the flaws, make it into an actual mod or a scenario, you are more than welcome to do so. Well anyways, thanks for listening and watching and I'll see you next time.